right now. I have a lot on my plate. Can I help? No, it's fine. I'm handling it. Are you sure you don't want me to help? You sure know how to get my attention, don't you? Maybe. <laughs> Alrighty then. <clears throat> You're sleeping with your secretary? Babe, babe, please hang on. Let's talk about this, please. Babe, babe, please, please, stop, stop this. What are you doing, please? Don't even think about it. Come on, please, just calm down. Let's talk about this, please. You disgust me, Mike. You really do. Babe, what you saw was a mistake. It, it, it was Wait. a mistake. It should never have happened. You call putting your tongue in another woman's mouth a mistake? Yes, yes, babe. It was a mistake. I, I swear to you. I swear to you. I'm sorry. Please, how you have long? to believe me. Uh, how long was it? I don't understand. Don't play dumb with me. How long have you been sleeping with your receptionist? No, babe, you're getting it wrong. I've never slept with her. She's been coming on to me for a while now, but I've never looked at her, I swear to you. Hey, save it! You know what? I am done listening to your many lies. I am definitely done with this relationship. No, babe, you can't, you, you can't say that, please. Babe, please give me a chance to explain. I, I love you, babe. Please. Please, you can't leave me, baby. Please, I, I beg you. I love you. I, I, I swear, I do. Then you have a funny way of showing it. Yeah. No, no, baby. Please, come on, baby. Yes. I cannot believe this. The man cheated on you for heaven's sake. I know. But I'm confused. What is confusing in this matter? Well, he said he didn't sleep with her. Obviously, it's a lie. And you know it. You think so? Baby girl, I know so. <sighs> I really don't know what to do. How do I handle this? Handle what? Don't even think of going back to him. Don't. If you ask me, I will tell you this is a sign. This is a red flag. It will not change, so don't even think of it. <sighs> I know, right? Yes. My dear, God just save you from what would have become a marital disaster. You're right, Amaka. I am calling off that wedding right away. Good. Call it off. What is it? Ah. Men can never change. Never. Ruth, so you've started lying to your mother. How do you mean? When you came and I asked you, what did you tell me? That I came to see how you're doing. Where is the lie? And you think I don't know? You think I don't know that you called off your wedding? So when were you going to tell me? Mike? Yes, Mike. Unlike you, he does not keep secrets from me. I caught him cheating, Mama. I caught him red-handed. Is that enough reason for you to call off your upcoming wedding? 
No, no, so that is not a good reason. Ruth, eh? no. No, it is not. So you want me to marry a cheat, Mama? The question is, which man does not cheat? There is no faithful man anywhere. Mama, that's not true. Papa was faithful to you. Hi, <laughs> Anukwa Monka, your father, faithful to me. No, my dear, your father cheated on me several times. What? You were a child. What do you know? <laughs> Mama, Papa was so devoted to you. Please, don't believe that. Don't just believe it. See, listen. Time waits for no man. A young, rich, and handsome suitor like Mike is not easy to come by. You have to hold what you have tight. Anyway, I've said my own. Cheating is nothing. The good thing is that some men even stop after they get married. Just pray that Mike is one of them. Hey, baby. I'm fine. And you? I'm great. I miss you so much. And I miss you more. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Oh. Oh, yeah. Me too. I'm seriously counting down. How was the conference? Oh, it was great. I grabbed a lot of new ideas for the company. Wow. That's good. I am so proud of you, baby. You were so hardworking. Thank you so much, babe. Let me leave you to rest, okay? Good night. I love you. All right, babe. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. I hope that didn't take too long. Yeah. Hmm. Honey, I'm home. Welcome, honey. Hey, baby. <laughs> Welcome. Baby. How was your trip? My trip was fine. I have missed you so and much. And I have missed you more. <laughs> anyway, you must be very hungry. Oh, I yes. prepared your favorite. You did? Let's go. All right. Let me help you out. OK. <laughs> Fantastic. It's good to be home. <sighs> Okay, baby. I have been having dizzy spells for some days now. Is that so? Why haven't you gone to the hospital? Come on, honey. I'm sure it's nothing serious. I mean, it just could be. Um... Could 
can be what? Pregnancy. Because I have been having other symptoms that, that points to that. What even pregnant? <laughs> well, that would make me the happiest man in the world. <laughs> it's been a long time coming, baby. Well, that means I have to go for a test tomorrow. Yes, you should. Try to eat, okay? Okay. You might just be eating for two. <laughs> you freshen up while I get your food ready. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Babe? Are you okay? Come. Sit. Sit, sit. What's going on? I got the test result today. Oh. I am not pregnant. I only have malaria. Oh, come on, babe. Stop crying. Stop crying, please. It's not your fault. I am tired of waiting. I want us to have children. We will have children, okay? It's just taking a little time, that's all. Five years is not some time. I am getting frustrated at this point. You shouldn't. You shouldn't, okay? Baby, trust me. I'm sure God will remember us soon. Hmm? We will have children, okay? But until then, you're stuck with me. You are an exceptional man, Mike. I love you so much. I love you too, baby. Come on, cheer up. Hmm? It's okay. Tonight. I'm sorry, I have a lot of work to do. You don't have to look at the files now. It's Saturday tomorrow. I do have to look at the files, baby. I'm sorry. Okay? I, I, I have a meeting with a big client tomorrow and I do have to go through the files. Since when did you start having Saturday meetings at work? Since we had a big client that we had to land, and until we land this client, we have to do whatever it takes. Okay, so I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I, I have to do this. Okay, then. You can go back to your files. Sorry for interrupting. No good night kiss. Good night. Good night. Oh. 
I've mixed everything up. Now I have to start all over again. did he end up forgetting them? Hey, afternoon. Why is the office locked? I thought there is supposed to be a meeting here today. A meeting? Yes. I mean, my husband forgot something, so I brought it for him. I'm sorry, ma, but I'm not aware of any meeting. Are you sure? Yeah, but I have the office keys here, so you can just go in no, and check. No, no, just keep it. It's not necessary. Um. And you can have this for your lunch, okay? Thank you. God bless you, ma'am. Okay, do have a nice day, ma'am. All right. Thank you. supposed to be eating the food with not tossing it around in the plates like that I can't help it I have no appetite okay so definitely something is wrong are you can you just let me be please can you not snap at me like that what the hell is wrong with you, you today? what is wrong with me why did you lie to me that you had a meeting at work today when you didn't what the hell are you talking about? I was at your office today. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, really? Wow. I can't believe this. Neither will I believe that you will still cheat on me after I forgave you the first time. What? what, what? You know, I'm really disappointed in you, Ruth. How can you make such bogus accusation without even hearing from me first? So you will look at me and lie like you're doing? Who, who the hell is... You know what? I don't have time for this right now. You can believe whatever you want. Keeping malice? How do you mean? Are we? Of course not, baby. Come on. You know that I love you too much. Come on, babe. Come on. Hmm? 
You are not off the hook, Mike. Where were you yesterday? Listen, babe. The meeting held, okay? I swear to you. Just not at the office. I don't believe you. You don't? Okay. What are you doing? I'm gonna call Ben. He was at the meeting. I think you should talk to him. Don't do that. No, no, I'm gonna call every single person that was at that meeting. If we I are have not to. going to wash our dirty linens in public. So what am I going to do to make you believe me? Fine. I believe you. Babe, I'd never cheat on you, okay? You're the very air that I breathe. Mm -hmm. Hmm? What are you cooking? Oh, this? Well, this is called the I'm sorry breakfast. What? <laughs> Don't have that look on your face. I'm about to blow you away. <laughs> well, in that case, I am so ready. You know what you should do? Go back to the living room and chill, okay? I'm going to make <sighs> breakfast. I'm going to serve you and you eat my special delicacy. Fine. Okay? Just to make up for yesterday. I mean, it's not as if anything happened, but just because I made you upset, okay? It's fine. I will be waiting. All right, go now. <laughs> and leave the master at work. Seeing you. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Oh, I have something very important to tell you. What is it? I mean, it must be very serious for you to be panting like this. Very serious. Remember that my client in UK? Oh, 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 the one that wants you to bake her wedding cake? Exactly. She asked us to do the testing today in her hotel. On my way out, guess who I saw? Who? Mike. And he was not alone. I saw you with the lady. They were all over wait, each wait, other. Wait, 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 wait. Who did you say you saw? Mike, of course. Wait. Where did he tell he was going to when he left the house? I mean, he said he was going to the office, of course. Today is Monday. Well, he lied. Mike is out there, chilling with his mistress. And you're here telling me he went out for work. I don't believe you. I knew it. I knew you were going to doubt it. I have a proof. <laughs> Mike. Who is that? Honey! Honey, your phone is ringing! Hello? Who's this? ringing and I don't know who it was because the number isn't saved on your phone. All right, um, I'll check. Uh, is there something else? Uh, no, nothing, nothing. Okay. Uh, come on, guys, 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 come on.
goodness. Babe, you should have been there to see the movie I just finished watching. It was absolutely insane. <laughs> I see. Yeah. What's up with you anyways? You've, you've, you've been dull all day. What's going on? Nothing. I'm fine. It's just that... No, no, no. Please don't tell me you're tired. Because I'm going in there to take a shower and when I come back, you know, we're going to have some... You know what I'm talking about, right? Hmm? Of course. <laughs> That's my baby. Let me go take a shower. Hmm? All right. I'll be right back. I am looking for you. Do I know you? Well, I am the wife of the man you've been sleeping with. What are you talking about? Hey, hey. Do not do that. It will make me angrier than I am already. My husband just left your apartment a few minutes ago. So? You must be a jobless woman to have the time to follow your husband over the place. How dare you! I don't, I don't, I don't, You must be very stupid. Look at this girl. Look at this thing. What's going on here? Who is this woman? Thank God you came on time, Gloria. Can you imagine this shameless woman attacking me because of her husband? Consider yourself lucky. I would have just thrown you That's over. enough, madam. Haven't you embarrassed yourself enough? Question. Well, I am not surprised. Bets of a feather flock together. Don't you? Husband snatchers. Don't you even insult me. Now leave. What will you do? Get out. Will you will do nothing. to you. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. Let's go inside. Oh my god. I never knew you to be this type. 
I know. Me neither. I feel so ashamed of myself. I can't believe Mike would tell me to a person I am not proud of. Just look at your face. Look at you. What were you thinking? You should be fighting Mike, not the side chick. Standing face to face with her just made something in my head spark. And I just lost it. You are better than that bitch, girl. You shouldn't have brought yourself to that level of fighting with that girl. <laughs> what did I ever do to Mike? Why would he do this to me? Is this my reward for being a good wife? Ruth, it's okay. You don't need to cry. Mike does not deserve your tears. Please stop. Stop. I regret marrying him. I just wish my mother was alive to see what I am going through because of her advice. You don't need to blame that woman. You don't have to blame the poor woman. She just wanted her only child to get married. Margaret? Yes? Why did you do that? I do not want to talk to him. Well, eventually you will. Once the divorce papers are ready, because you have to get used to it. Divorce? Yes, divorce. Ruth. Don't tell me you want to remain in a marriage with an unapologetic cheat. Where is she? Who? My wife, of course. Where is she? Do I look like your wife's keeper? Amaka, please, please. Stop the nonsense. Where is my wife? How dare you raise your voice at me? Do I look like one of those your mistresses? Huh? You know, I can tell that you're really happy about all this. After all, you've been very envious of what Ruth and I share. Envy about what? You? Uh, if I were you, I will be looking for a lawyer because divorce papers are added for you. What did you just say? I am very sure your two hairs are functioning properly, so I will not repeat myself. Wait, Ruth wants a divorce already? I don't have time to waste. As you can see, I have a child to take care of. Goodbye.
Mom, I need to. She's not here. I'm so sorry, crying. No, <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just sad. That's all. I know. I cry when I'm sad too. Why are you sad? It's my husband. He did something really bad to me. Sorry about that. Please stop crying. Everything will be fine, okay? Thank you, darling. Darling, have a nice day at school, okay? My dear, um, once I drop her off, I have a meeting with a client, but I'll be back before noon. It's Make fine. sure you take care of yourself. I will, I will. <laughs> it's okay, let's go. All right, see you later. Bye, darling. Bye. Let's go. Bye. <laughs> Still your husband. Well, that's a mistake I am about to correct. Look, I know you have every reason to be mad, but. See, you have to leave. We both know what will happen if Maka finds you here. So just leave! Uh, we both know Maka is not at home, okay? I just watched her drive away with, with Mabel in the car. You need to leave. There is nothing to talk about. Come on, babe. You know there's a lot to talk about. Please. Babe, there's, there's everything to talk about. Please. I don't have this time. Babe. Babe, please hear me out. I don't want a divorce. I love you so much and you know it. Please hear me out. sure about this yes girl remember those girls they gave the beating of your life well I cannot deny the fact that I love him it's okay best of luck to you thank you <laughs> my regards to me they won't show I will from school why not okay. <laughs> bye Take care of yourself. I will.
Bye. <laughs> <sighs> Surprise! Uh. <laughs> wow! This is beautiful. <laughs> you did this for me? Yes, baby. All for you. And, um... What are you doing? Get up. Babe, I just want to apologize for everything once again. I haven't been a good husband. And you really deserve better. Then stop apologizing and be a better man. Action speaks louder than words. Mike, you need to stop cheating. I know. I know, babe. I promise you it will never happen again. I promise. See? If there is anything you want me to change about myself, then tell me and I will gladly do it. If that will make you stop looking at other women. No, babe, it's, uh, this is not about you. It, it's about me. How do you mean? I'm the one who needs to change. Not you. Are you sure? Absolutely. And I promise you this. It starts now. Okay? I promise I'm never going to cheat on you again. I've missed you so much. I missed you too. Come here. I'm glad to have you back. Me too. Good morning. Morning. Breakfast in bed. Wow. <laughs> this is nice. Just how you like it. I made toasts, your favorite beverage, and some butter. Thank you. You deserve it. Um, I'll make your tea for you. Thank you very much. Get you something. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my God. Wow. You like it? It's all for you, baby. Thank you so much. Come here, baby. Thank you so much. Thank you. been heaven on earth, Amaka. Mike has been amazing. I feel like a new bride. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll come take you and me though for a ride after I return from Enugu. All right. Bye. You know, babe, I really, I really wish I could go to Enugu with you this weekend. On a serious note, why can't you come with me? I have a lot of work to do this weekend. It would have been so much fun. Mm. I know how much you love weddings. I know, right? 
just make sure you send me videos, okay? I want to feel like I'm right there with you. Consider it done. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I'm so going to miss you, baby. Come on, it's a two day trip. To me, it's going to feel like two months. <laughs> oh. Make sure you have fun, okay? I will. Mm. <laughs> Baby, what's taking so long? It's getting late. You're going to miss your flight. I'm coming, honey. I'm so sorry, I was just putting some things I forgot. You're traveling with two luggages? Yes. For a two-day trip? <laughs> well, this bag actually contains some old clothes. I want to give them to my cousin. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I thought as much. But don't be scared. <laughs> don't be scared, honey. Okay? I am not relocating to Inuko. You better not. <laughs> All right, let's get you to the airport okay. before you miss your flight. Let's yes. go. Hi, baby. How's the bachelorette party going? Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Come on, baby. You know I'd rather spend my time with you. Hmm? Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm actually having a very massive headache and I'm probably going to go to bed early today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Have fun, huh? I'll talk to you in the morning. Good night.
I think we should take this party to a more private place. Oh my goodness, you a bad girl. I like that. Alright, let's go, let's go. Uh, you don't have anything here? Alright, let's go then. Where are we going to? My place, of course. It's okay. I got it. Are you sure you can drive like this? Of course I can. Why not? Oh, are you sure? <laughs> mm hmm Okay. See, it can drive. I know how to drive very well. It's okay. I told you. I got it. Okay? Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Right, kiss me. Kiss me. Mm -hmm. Kiss me one more time. Mm -hmm. well, let's go. Let's go. It. Let's go. <laughs> Just easy, easy. No, it's fine. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Easy, baby. Easy. Boss, what happened to my husband? Amaka, eh? Thank God you're here. How was your flight? Oh, it was fine. How is he? I don't know. They are still operating on him. Oh my God. Have you seen the doctor? What did he say? You have to calm down. We should be praying instead of panicking like this. One of the nurses said that his condition is very bad. Oh my God. It's okay, please. Just, just sit down. It's okay, please. Sit down, sit down, please. It's okay. It's okay, please. It's okay. Please. It's crazy. I was told you are the family of the man. Yes, I am his wife and this is my friend. Oh, I see. Well, uh, the accident was very serious. Your husband was very lucky to have survived because the lady could not make it. There was a lady in the car with him? Yes, she was brought in here with your husband. But we've contacted our family, though. So, doctor, how is he? I hope the surgery went well. Yes, but that's just one of the several that he will be having. Doctor, will he be fine? Hopefully, hopefully. But there is something you must know. Your husband will be needing a serious therapy. A lot of it. It will help in his recovery process. Okay. And also, you have to know that uh, he cannot see for now. He lost his sight. What? Yes, he suffered a traumatic brain injury, which led to hemorrhaging in the eye. But all hope is not lost. It can still be restored. Really? Yes. Can I see him now? Sure, you can. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. believe he did this to me again. Now look at him. See what you've done to yourself, Mike.
you know that I love you too But I guess sometimes destiny thinks otherwise You know that I want you, I know that you want me too so why do you keep hurting me? Tell me why If only you let love lead the way It will show you where and who you belong to What is it? I... I know you hate me for what I did. Hate? Mm. No, Mike. I have gone past hating you. Do you want to know what I feel for you now? Mm. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is not my wife's hand. 
Oga, no bolo. This way they romance me. Obolo. Yes, sir. Why are you the one serving my meal? Where's my wife? She don't go work. Work? Yes, sir. She not tell you. Work? Ah. You, you may go. Okay. You can go. In, in, in case you need anything, you, know. you can go, Obolo. Okay, sir. I dare teach you in case you need anything. You think. can go. Work. You didn't tell me you got a job. Sorry about that. You know you don't have to work, right? I mean, we have enough money, all the money we need. Point of correction. You have all the money you need. I have to make mine. I don't understand why the use of all the personal pronouns we're still married, right? Hey, see, please, Mike. I have had a long day. I just need to go shower, find something to eat, and then go to sleep. I want you to quit that job. I don't want you working. You sure have some guts, don't you? So after all you did to me, you still have the nerves to tell me what to do with my life? <laughs> Who do you think you are? My lord and master? <sighs> uh, you're right, I'm sorry. Um, you, you can keep the job if, if that's what you want. It, it's, it's fine. Um, can we talk about Obolo? What about him? I, I don't want a stranger living with us. Why? <laughs> Cause someone has to stay with you until after your surgery. But I... So he stays! <sighs> Babe? <laughs> it's really good to see you after so many years. Stop being silly. It's only been two weeks. Two weeks? Have we ever stayed that long without seeing each other before? You know, I've had my hands full with work and getting to look after Mike sometimes. Besides, you have refused to visit me at home. You know why I can't come to your house? I can't stand seeing that your husband of yours. <laughs> well, he's only my husband in surname. We only live under the same roof and nothing more. As it should be. Mike deserves nothing more than that. <laughs> you know what, enough. <laughs> enough of this bitter subject. Let's say something else. Bitter indeed. <laughs> when is my girl Mabel coming back? I have missed her so, so much. Hmm. Don't worry, in a moment. You know, the party venue is just down the street. Oh, I see. I know you can see her. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> She's not a big girl. Sorry. Sorry. It's the hospital. Hello? Yeah. This is his wife. Really? Okay. Yes, I will tell him. All right, thank you. Bye. What's up? They said they are ready for Mike's surgery. 
You know, you don't have to tell him, right? I mean, it's not as if he does anything better with his sight. Why are you this heartless, Amaka? I am eh? not. I'm just saying the fact. As far as I'm concerned, this news is a relief to me. Because, I mean, getting his sight means total freedom to myself. My darling. Cheers to your freedom. Oh, cheers to <laughs> my freedom, girl. <laughs> ah. Ah, yeah. finally. Finally, you have to live a better life. That's it. That's it. Wow. Doctor, how did it go? It went well. Your husband can see again. Thank you very much, You're Doctor. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Can I see him now? Sure, you can. What is it? Happy birthday, baby. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I got you this. Wow. This is beautiful. It's lovely. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyway, I have to get ready for work. Oh, oh. Yeah, come in. Come in. Yeah. Hello, beautiful. Happy birthday. Hi, Tony. I am busy. I know you're busy, but I mean, I brought this for you. Look at it. Take a look at it. Look at it. You <laughs> bought me a gift? Yes, I did. <sighs> That's so sweet of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're talking about being sweet. Would that, uh, is, am I sweet enough to go on a date with you? Tony, we've had this conversation several times. I am still married. I know you're married, but the last time I checked, you, you were filing for a divorce. Except you, you've changed your mind. Did something happen? Well, until then, I cannot go on any date with you. <laughs> You know why I love you? You're very principled. I mean, look at you. I just want you to come out and have a good time with me. Wait, wait. Did you say you love me? Mm -hmm. I said it. I mean, from the day you walked into this establishment looking for a job, it's been one emotion to another. And eventually, if we don't get to date, I still want to be friends with you. I care a lot about you. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to make me cry. Uh, I don't want you to cry. I don't want you to cry. Um, I'll take my leave now. And uh, hope you think about it. Let me hang out. Later tonight. Right? Is that a yes? Say yes. Or you call me up. <laughs> I'll see you later, all right? Come on, hurry up with the drinks. She'll be back soon. Ah. 
How's it? How's it? What what are you doing? <laughs> Wait, you see, if they do something like this, you get that body they do me. Papa, see setting. Boss, see setting, see arrangement. You, 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 you don't feel waiting at the field, Abby. I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually scared. I, I, I don't know if she'll like it. No, 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 no. She no go like her. She go love her. See, sir, no woman will see this kind of setting go reject her. Come add you, sir. Fine, fine boss. <laughs> you see, your love. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, Obolo. You talk too much. It's okay. It's okay, huh? Let's say she don't go. She's here. Okay, okay. You need to go. Thanks for helping me set this up, okay? Okay. You need to go. Just... What are you still doing here? I, I, I don't know. I don't know how I want to take tell you. I feel get small TV. Just small. Small right now? No. Here. Yeah, take, take, take. Just, you, just go. Ah. Oh, come on. Ah, thank you, baby. Ah. Yeah. You're welcome, baby. Thank you. I um I did a little something for us to celebrate. Thank you. This is beautiful. Yes, um, yes, uh this is for me. Wow. I love it. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Babe. I've missed you so much, haven't you? Huh? Oh, stop it. A million kisses will not repair the damage you caused our marriage. Oh. Come on, babe, I've been apologizing to you for months now. I don't know what else to do. You have to believe me, I, I, I'm a changed person now. I'm no longer that person. That was what you said the last time and the time before that. But this time is different. Please, you have to trust me. Trust? Thanks to you. I do not know the meaning of that word anymore. Babe, okay, look, what do you want me to do? Okay, whatever it is, just say it, I'll do it. It's a little late for that, Mike. Is it? Then why do your eyes say different? Hmm? Divorcing you, Mike. Oh, oh baby, please, that's so funny. It's not joking. This is not a joke, Mike. At least you fully recovered, so you don't need me anymore. Come, 
babe! You're serving me divorce papers? After the night we just had? Did you think that a good round of lovemaking will magically erase all you did to me from my mind? Come on. Baby, baby, we've, we've been through thick and thin together. Please, please don't leave me, please. I'm sorry, I have to, for my sanity. Bruce, come on, please. Please sign the papers and send back to me as soon as possible. Finally, Mabel is asleep. I had to read three stories to her. Honestly, I don't know how you do this. You have to get used to it. Now you are staying here. Until I move to my own place, I am already looking. Why? But you can stay here. It could be just like our university days. True. You know what I'll think about it. <laughs> Yeah, you girl. <laughs> ah. Um, maybe a little social cute baby. <laughs> Just look at her. Yeah. God. How time flies. She's not a big girl. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. I mean, before you know it, she'll be done with her education and get married. Maka. Already, so I don't know. Make her bring her here, or make her keep her for dining there. No, no, Bolo, I'm, I'm not hungry. You can keep the food. Oh, you're gonna need to do this thing now. Need to do this. You know what it takes to cook. 
Go serve Oga. Oga will say you no go eat. Oga, I mean, you go injure yourself. Oh. What are you talking about? Oga, because my damn packard. Let me make you just the thing, thing, the drink like this. Okay, yeah, you got me. You know, Obola, I'm just trying to put put up a brief front. If I'm being honest with myself, it's killing me inside. It's really killing me. Oga, go bring her back. Now you be Oga. Go bring her back. It's not that easy. We already signed the divorce papers. Ah, Oga, no, no, that one will be excused. That one don't mean anything at all. You know, matter. Let me let such one sign. You sign inside heart. You see the heart when you sign? Now just paper, paper. Oga, fight for your marriage, you. Fight? Yes! You just don't have a drink. Just a drink like fish. You don't go solve your problem. It's not like I haven't tried. I've tried. I, I, I've tried calling her. She, she's blocked my number. I, I, I went to her friend's place. They won't let me in to see her. Uh, what else am I going to do? I got to leave her friends. That no matter. I go where she did work. Go to her office. I don't know where she works. You see? Please don't give me that look. I asked her many times and she refused to tell me, so I don't know. Okay, okay, that one will be excused though. Uh, what if that's thing where they talk, say, what that mountain and uh, Mohammed? Say, if uh, mountain no go meet Mohammed, yeah. uh, Mohammed go meet. You see, okay, it's push okay. this thing. It's push. okay, it's okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, yes. You know what? You know what? I, th I think you're right. Yes, I, I, I need to try something else. Can't just give up. Wait, Oga? You mean say are they, are they right? Mm. <laughs> oh, but <laughs> it didn't get sense. <laughs> you see, Oga? I'll go bring your food. Obolo, oh, no appetite, remember? Okay, forget about the appetite. You see, me, my own appetite now for take, big one. I'll go borrow you some. You understand? No worry. <laughs> no worry yourself. Keep my own. Keep my own appetite. Ma, bring your food. Slowly, and I can't help it, and it's painful. I know how you feel. I know how you feel. Just it's okay, right? Everything is going to be fine. She has less than a month to live, oh and that's because she has refused to get treated. Why? Why is that? She says there is no need because the cancer is in the last stage. <sighs> just tell me, does that make sense? Hey, why would she give up just like that? Yes, I know the money is the problem, but we can find a way around that. Listen, money is not really the problem. Money is not the issue here. Stage 4 cancer is often very rough and uh, very unforgiving. So, I, I don't see any reason why you don't have to spend all that money. And uh, she might be dead anyways. At the end of the day. Why are you sounding like you know so much about this? 
Yeah, well, I am experienced. <laughs> my mother died of stage four breast cancer. And looking back at the time, I, would have, I wouldn't have let her go through all the surgeries and the radiations and whatnot. Sorry. I it's didn't okay. know about that. It's okay. And uh, I feel if your friend decided or refuses to take any treatment, you should just let her be. All she needs right now is for you to be by her side. <laughs> Come on. Just why is something like this happening to Amaka? She has never had it easy. She became an orphan at 18 and had to see herself through school by doing menial jobs around campus. Why? It's okay. It's all right. Stop crying. I, I hate to see you like this. Come here. Come here. Just stop crying, all right? Everything is going really fine. Just. You need to be by our side now. All right. Um, uh, I'll be at my office. Right, so, um, and this is the bedroom. Wow, <laughs> nice place. Thank you, thank you. Um, sit down, sit down, sit down. Oh, thank you. So, can I offer you something to drink? Mm -mm. Let's get straight to business. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> While we're here. Naughty Bella. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. So come here. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mike. <sighs> Take this off. Okay. Mm. Oh. Mm. What's, what's wrong? Stop, stop. <sighs> what's wrong? Oh, no, no, no. I can't, I can't, I can't. <sighs> oh. Mike, I 
thought she said you were divorced. Yeah, I, I know, I did. I said so. I, I mean, I am, but... You know what, Mike? You have my number. Call me when you need me. I have all the clients to attend to. Okay? I'm out. Uh, Bella, I'm sorry. Uh, let me show you the... Let me walk you out. Bella. Asleep. Ah. We were just gisting a moment ago. Ah. You know, maybe Bell doesn't joke with her sleep. You are right. You're looking. You're looking ah. stunning in this outfit. Thank you. Tony doesn't know <laughs> what will hit him. <sighs> Are you sure I should go? I don't feel good leaving you here all by yourself. But I am not by myself. <coughs> you know what I mean? I don't. I... <coughs> I don't want you to, to cancel your date. I'll be fine. Uh, <coughs> I'll still be alive when you get back. Mm? Stop joking about this, Amaka. I am being serious. <sighs> Ruth, you know. I never knew my life in this world it would be this short. I would have gone for every single date that I was asked on. Amaka. Mm -hmm. I still believe you can survive this. <sighs> Don't go there. Enjoy your life. Life is short. Life is short. No, 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 don't do that. Don't ruin this beautiful makeup, please. Please. I'm fine. I'm very fine. I'm strong. Yeah, we can for you to come back. Okay. Go, please. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so see you soon. I'm here waiting for you. Bye. Go. Bye. Uh.
Uh, Amaka, do you need anything? Uh, are you okay? Where is Margo? Oh, she's in school. I dropped her off before coming here. Thank you. Thank you. You scared me. I feel so guilty going on that date. Don't say that. <coughs> Sorry. I just passed out. That's all. Hmm? Um, the doctor said... I know. My time is almost here. I'm getting weaker. By the day, Ruth. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for being with me throughout this difficult time. I wish our a friendship would last me. Amaka, stop talking like this. You can beat this thing. Okay? I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> My friend. I have something to tell you. What is it? It's... It, it's about Mabel. I've been lying to you all this while. Our father. I know who our father is. Don't tell me I'm not She's not dead. <sighs> then what's the problem? What's bothering you? Tony, please, can you just leave me alone? I am not in the mood to talk. Okay, I mean, you, you do really have to raise your voice at me. Don't shout at me like that. I'll see you some other time. Uh, Tony, wait. I'm sorry for snapping at you. It's just that I am going through a whole lot right now. And it's beginning to tell on me. It's okay, right? Everything's gonna be fine. Well, that's what I keep hearing. But it seems to be getting worse. What is the problem? What's going on? Apparently, my ex-husband is Mabel's father. What? They had a one-night stand while Mike and I were dating. I mean, this is, this is absolute. I, I don't even know what to say. 
I can't believe Amaka would do this to me. We're supposed to be best friends for goodness sake. Right, listen, listen. I know how you feel. But you have to let go. Yeah, just, just let it go. Why? I mean, if she was not dying, do you think she would have told me? Oh, well, she must have had her reasons for not telling. Did you bother asking her? Well, I didn't give her the chance to explain herself. I was shocked when she told me, so... I ran off and I haven't gone back there since then. Wait, hold on. You mean you haven't seen her in two days? Three days? Three no. Days? I just dropped Mabel there and pick her up when she's done. Look, Ruth, you really don't have to be hard on yourself. I don't want you to regret not patching up things with her. Alright? Everything is going to be fine. I mean, if you... You must go, I'll drive you during lunch break. I'll take you there. Is that okay by you? Okay. Come on, just cheer up a little bit, alright? I want you to be happy. I'm so sorry, Ruth. I didn't even know she was sick. Thank you. Please, um, if you need anything, don't hesitate to call me. Okay? Okay. I'm really sorry. Mabel, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be in your room sleeping. I can't sleep until I keep seeing my mom's face. I miss her so much. I know. And I miss her too. I don't have a father. And now my mom is gone. I am alone. You are not alone, Mabel. I am here. And I am not going anywhere. Okay? Can I sleep here? Of course. Come. You know, the food here is always very nice. You like it? Yeah, it is. <clears throat> you know, Mike used to bring me here. 
Mm, Mike. Oh, come on, go on. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Tony. For what? What are you sorry for? I keep mentioning my ex and it isn't fair to you. Come on. I mean, you both were married. I don't expect you to forget about him just like that. You were married for years. Tony, huh? I don't think I've met anyone as understanding as you are. You make it easier for me. <laughs> okay. Are you expecting someone? No, I'm only keeping track of time, so I don't forget to pick Mabel up. She's at her friend's birthday party. Mm. Mabel, how's she doing? She's really gone through a lot, you know? Yeah, she has. So, have you made a decision yet? This topic again? Come on, babe. Mike deserves to know that Mabel is his daughter. Does he? Well, Amaka thought differently. I mean, babe, there's a reason she told you the truth. She could have died with the secret. Wow. You certainly have a lot to say about this issue. Look, I want you to tell him that Mabel is his daughter. So when we get married, you don't expect Mabel to live under our roof when the dad is still alive. Can we change this topic, please? I will tell Mike when I am ready to. For now, I am still processing the whole thing. It's been two months already since Amaka died. Time waits for no one. I lost my appetite. I need to do the right thing. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, no. I'm fine. I'm happy to see you. Me too. Ah, how have you been? Ah, madam, we oh, thank God. We oh, thank God for the life we ain't give also. Ah. What happened? I thought you were supposed to go to Ghana for a while. Ah, madam, I be one go. Mm -hmm. No, I to make her stay with them small. I did been I go. I got for die. <laughs> Ah, Obolo, nothing will happen to Oga, okay? See, He'll madam, be fine. Madam, as I did like this, so I did fear. Why? You should see that way you know him. Uh -huh. Oga need to get himself. Madam, you know me, you know me. You know as I did take cook. Uh -huh. You did taste my food. Uh -huh. Even when you don't get appetite, you didn't eat my food. <laughs> you see, ma, Oga need to eat again. Wow. Oga need to sleep well. Oga not just think, uh -huh. think when you do. Not just to they think. Uh -huh. In fact, Ogani may get insane for. Ah, but I, I thought you were, you were supposed to like um, uh, like. No, no, no. You see, yeah, madam, madam, wait, no verse, no verse. This thing where Oga do you, you know, I reach you to forgive her. <sighs> the man they suffer. It is not that easy, Bolu. Just take good care of him. You see, you see, madam, I did try my best, but as it stands now, me, I didn't fear. Obolo, why? Madam, my wife just born. So I did pack my things. That is, I did organize my wife to take travel. And you know, if I travel, I got go there alone for house. The next thing now, first he went there alone, never to kill himself. With the condition where he's there, I, I didn't see that. See, Obolo. Madam, I didn't see that. The call, I didn't see that. Nothing will happen to Oga. Mike will be fine. Madam. I, I wish I get the power to beg. I don't know where I want to start from. Oga, they die. If you see Oga, even you said, you go free for him. You know what, I'm, I am in a worry, okay? Take good care of yourself. Let me 
check and where will I beg? Come, come, bring water, bring water. I come, bring water, bring water. Bring water. Where you did go again? Good day, sir. Wait, he don't tell you what you're supposed to have you. Hold on, hold on. Ah. Yes, sir. What's you? Hi, sir. How are you? Fine. Pure blast in purple. I'm hearing some noise coming from the engine. I need you to help me check it. Okay. Are you busy right now? Yes, uh, small. Let me finish with this. Okay, okay hurry up, I'm eh? Here, hurry up, hurry up. Come, don't get there. Hi, Mike. Hi. Do I know you? Oh, come on, cut the pretense. I'll, I'll stop uh, being immature. You don't know me. Uh, well, you, you do look familiar. Oh, well, but... <sighs> let me help you out. I am Ruth husband to be. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay, of course. All right. <laughs> so now who's being immature? <laughs> Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. I mean, if that's coming from your heart. Why wouldn't it? Ruth and I are divorced. Oh, I totally forgot. Thank you for reminding me. Are you always this annoying? Oh, uh, no, unless I'm triggered like the way I am right now. Yes, sir. You don't sort that thing out? Yeah. Okay. Please, make sure you do it properly, all right? Okay. You know, you don't need to hate me. Yeah, Ruth already made it clear that it's over between us. So, save the hostilities for someone who actually deserves it. I mean, talk about hate. Uh, it won't be out of place for her to hate you, considering all the things you did to her. The word is did, <laughs> okay? All of that is in the past now. Besides, I, why am I even having this conversation with you? Whatever happened between Ruth and I is none of your business. I mean... Um, Mike, I want to ask you something. Why did you sleep with her best friend as well? Where did you get that from? Oh, the question is irrelevant. You, you better go and take care of the souvenir of, of, from that affair. Excuse me? Use your tongue to count your teeth. What's you? Where's my key? Everything is ready, right? Mm, get me the keys. You set everything up. Oh, thank you. Ah. Alright guys, we're all here. We're all here to have fun. All here to celebrate with our very good friend Amaka. But before we go ahead, we're going to do the first and most important thing. We're going to have you cut the cake. Alright, <laughs> so put your hand on the knife and at the count of three. One, two, three! three. <laughs> Oh, yeah. For she's a jolly, 
jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow. And so sings all of us. Okay, that's like the third time you're going to the restroom. My stomach hurts. I need to go home. Oh, 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 sorry about that. Um, all right, all right, let's go home. No, no, one of us has to stay. You know how wild Amaka gets when she's drunk? Huh? You have to stay so you can take her home after the party. Please. Um, all right, let's do it this way. I'll take you home and then come back and join the party. How about that? Oh, it's fine, thank you. All right, then. Let me tell Amaka I'm leaving. Okay. Check on you later, okay? No, no, come, come, come. You don't, you don't have to leave me all alone. Please. Amaka, Amaka, no, no, no. Just no, 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 no. You need to sleep, okay? No, I'm okay. Just do it. <clears throat> no, we shouldn't, we shouldn't. That's it. No, it's late. I know it's late, but we need good to talk evening. and you can. Mabel, good evening. How are you? I'm good. Um, darling. Can you give us a minute? What is it you want to talk about? Look, 
Ruth, I know that our marriage wasn't actually a marriage. And it's all on me. I blame myself. I was a serial womanizer before we met. And after you came into my life, I should have changed. But I didn't. Hey, I don't I... have time for this reminiscing of yours. If that's why you're here, then you better it's go... It's Mabel, my daughter. Amaka and I had... It should never have happened, but we were both drunk Hey, spare me the details! Did you even love me at all, Mike? The billions of women in the world were not enough. You are to add a maca to your list? I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, Ruth. Look, when I remember all the things that I did in the past, I feel ashamed of myself. But I'm a changed person now. You have to believe me. I've gone past that life now. Good for you. But I am not letting you anywhere near me, Bill. Amaka left her under my care. So I have a say in who comes into our life. Ruth, I... Come to think of it, how did you even know about this? Well, uh, I, I ran into Tony the other day and... Tony? Hi, baby. Hey, come on. Hi. You're always working. That's cold. Are you okay? I am not okay. Why will you tell Mike that Miriel is his daughter? You had no right to do that. Well, I, I didn't mean to. We were just having a conversation and it happened. I don't care what you were having. Telling Mike was my decision to make and not yours. As if you were ever going to tell him. What did you just say? You, you heard me right. I mean, of late you've suddenly resumed the position of a parent to Mabel. And you're not being reluctant in taking our relationship to the next stage. Oh. Now I get. It all makes sense to me now. So you told Mike so you could get Mabel out of the way, right? Listen to me. Keeping a child away from the father is wrong. You need to understand these things. I mean, you, you, weren't, able to, you weren't ready to tell him, so I, I decided to step up. Are you even listening to the words that are coming out of your mouth? Instead of you to ap apologize, you're yet justifying what you did. Ap apologize? Apologize for what? This relationship is never getting to another level. Oh, I on. cannot marry someone with a loose mouth. We're back here again. Come on, it's, it's just a little misunderstanding. You don't need to escalate it to this level. I mean... There is nothing little about this. And the fact that, that you feel to realize that this is mind-boggling. Just leave me alone. I have work to do. Okay, I'll come back and meet you after work and then we can talk about it. As adults. Don't. Because we've said all that needs to be said. What are you trying to do? I am no longer interested in this relationship. What? We are done! It has been a crazy couple of months for me. But I'm not doing too badly. I, I thought I would have lost my mind by now. But here I am, handling it all. That's good. That's very, very good. You don't know how proud I am to hear you say those words. 
Thank you. Well, you made it happen. No, no, you made it happen. I only helped. Mm, your daughter, any luck? How about her? Not yet. I'm giving Ruth all the time she needs. She deserves it. Look at you. Mike, I'm loving the new you. <laughs> You're spitting out so much wisdom. Thanks. I only wish Ruth would believe that, that I've truly changed. You want her back, don't you? Yes, I do. I was so foolish to have toyed with her the way I did. Do you think she'll ever forgive me? Hmm. I don't know, Mike. I don't know. But one thing I do know is that nothing is impossible. I hope you understand what I mean. I do. Okay. Do you have any other thing you want us to discuss? Come in, Mabel. Young woman, why are you still awake? There is something on my mind. What is it? Promise you, you won't get angry when I tell you. Okay. Come here. You can always tell me anything, Mabel. And I won't get angry. I promise. I overheard you and Uncle Mike talking the other day. Is he really my father? Um, Mabel, do you... Please, Aunt Ruth. Tell me the truth. You know I have always wanted to know who my father is. Yes, Mabel. He is your father. <laughs> no, don't do this. Good evening, Uncle Mike. Good evening, Michael. Ah, let me take that. Thank you so much for doing this. Let's go. Bye, Auntie Ruth. I'd like to have a word with you. Okay. So what's up? I've been trying to talk to you for a week now and... Um... I don't understand. But we've been talking. I know we've been talking, but it's not office talk. You know what I mean. I mean, I mean uh, besides, I was in your house yesterday and you weren't around. Oh, I was out with Mabel and her father. Why didn't you call me? I just wanted to surprise you. And come to think of it, 
you went out with your ex-husband? Oh, he was taking Mabel to see a children's drama. Mabel wanted me to go with them, so I did. Oh. Is that why you've been avoiding me? What do you mean? <sighs> you still have feelings for this ex of yours? You know, you really have some guts to ask me such questions. Answer the damn question! I will not! Our relationship is over, so you have no right to ask me that, Tony. And if you will excuse me, I have a child to pick up. you something to drink? No, I'm fine. Um, where's Mabel? She's in the other room. I'll go get her. Okay, thank you. But please hurry up because I don't have much time to waste. It's, it's okay. I'll get her. sleeping and it doesn't seem Why like... Why is our wedding picture still here? Well, um... I, 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 um... I haven't moved on. I, I, I still wear... I still wear my wedding ring. Why? in my life and my greatest regret is hurting you the way that I did but that's something I have to live with for the rest of my life I can only hope that you find it in your hearts to forgive me you really hurt me I know I know that I did please Please forgive me. to but that said I it's okay to call him that I wanted to wake you up but that said you needed the rest guilty as charged <laughs> that was a good move I was really exhausted yes you were <sighs> you must be hungry 
Let me get you something to eat. Thank you. I'll be right back. Oh. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Nothing. There is definitely something. Can you keep a secret? You know I can. Dad plans to bring you back and he asks for my help. <laughs> okay. So what's the plan? Are you serious? <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Ruth, it's so good to finally meet you in person. I've heard a lot of wonderful things about you. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. <laughs> good to meet you too. Um, thank you for Mike's transformation. I am still in awe. <laughs> so how is Mabel? Oh, Mabel is fine. She's really excited about our upcoming wedding. I don't blame her. It's been a long time coming. Um, we'll be having a small and intimate wedding. Okay. We're inviting just close friends and family. I hope you would come. Of course. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for anything. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Congratulations. Aha, uh -huh. Mike. How do we begin today's session? Do you want you to be in the room with us? Yes, I do. Okay. Thank you. 